Did you feel that earthquake? Of course I felt it. It was like an invisible freight train went by. Have you felt earthquakes like that here before? This island has not one, but two active or semi-active volcanoes on it. Any idea what caused it? This island has not one, but two active or semi-active volcanoes on it, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The more magma you got moving around down there, the more earthquakes you're gonna have. I felt dozens since I've been here. Little ones, that is. The last one was relatively big, but nothing to worry about. Have you heard about Kane Okala? Of course I have. Last time I went into town for my weekly mango shave ice, all people could talk about was how Kane Okala was fond of doing this, or he was heard doing that. Maybe he's the one who trashed your camp. Oh, please. Do you think there's any truth to what they're saying? Not one iota. Quigley? Yoo-hoo! Quigley! What? I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those webs at Kapu Cave. Don't worry, they were made by North Cebada larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly, I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the thing you got going with Mapu. Hey, I've got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. Assault and battery is a felony. I could make a lot of trouble for you. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? You don't know anything about this, do you? Why do you think Mapu double-crossed you like that? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact... No, wait! Hello? Hello? You there? Oh, shoot. I've been meaning to ask you, what were you doing with a Healy Healy Center security pass? Security pass? I... oh yeah, I found it. Malachi Craven seems to think someone stole it. Well, he probably just didn't want to admit that he lost it. What's your opinion of Dr. Craven? The man is an egomaniacal lunatic! Have you ever met Dr. Craven? Our paths have crossed once or twice, unfortunately. The man is an egomaniacal lunatic! Security pass? I... oh yeah, I found it. Did you ever use it? Of course not. Why would I do that? What's your opinion of Malachi Craven? The man is an egomaniacal lunatic! Have you ever met Malachi Craven? Our paths have crossed once or twice, unfortunately. The man is an egomaniacal lunatic! I wouldn't hire that whack job to wash test tubes. I heard this strange whispering noise like the one you described on tape. What do you think is causing it? Good question. I have this gut feeling that it somehow ties into the Norse Beta Caterpillar bloom. But for the life of me, I cannot think why. Hey, Frank. How's it going? So-so. How about you? Well, it just so happens that I've been very busy. Wow. So the island's being taken over by caterpillars? Well, something like that. But the real reason I called is because I discovered something that you might be interested in. Oh, yeah? Well, I was taking kind of an unauthorized tour of the Healy Healy Research Center. While you were Center. snooping. While I was snooping, I came across the name of the person Malachi Craven is working for, Richard Akins. Our Richard Aikens? Of Aikens Biotech? Yep. Wow, that is interesting. I'm not sure what it means, but it's certainly food for thought. Might be just a coincidence. Anyway, if I find out anything else, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.
Richard Aikens. Hello, Mr. Aikens. This is Frank Hardy again. What have you found out? What do you know about the Healy Healy Research Center? Never heard of it. It's out here where we are, in Hawaii. Look, who cares? Why are you asking me stupid questions? Just go do what I hired you to do. What's the real reason you hired us, Mr. Aikens? My dealings with the Hilly Hilly are none of your concern. It A lot of people think weird things are going on up there. My dealings with the Hilly Hilly are none of your concern. It's just that Joe and I, we don't like being lied to. So unless you tell us the truth, like now, we're gonna be on the next flight out of here. All right. My company owns the Hilly Hilly. The lead scientist there is working on a top-secret revolutionary product. Consequently, the less publicity the facility receives, the better. But for some reason, this Mike Mapu character has been spreading vicious rumors about the Hilly Hilly. And if the press picks up on them and starts sniffing around, the whole project could be compromised. So, I hired you to dig up some dirt on Mapu. So you could blackmail him into shutting up? I prefer to call it fighting fire with fire. The things he's been saying about the Healy Healy, are they just rumors? I assure you, what we are doing at the Healy Healy does not involve destroying pineapples. Quite the contrary. Now, I apologize for the subterfuge. Why didn't you just tell us this to begin with? I apologize for the subterfuge, but I was afraid the truth would only confuse things. You can quit if you want. But if the Mapus are up to something they shouldn't be, and if you walk away, you can't exactly claim the moral high ground either. We're not quitters, Mr. Akins. We just like to know the facts. As do I, young man. As do I. The person who tore apart Dr. Kim's base camp. It was you, wasn't it? Me? Don't be ridiculous! Why in blazes would I do that? Come on, Dr. Craven, I know it was you. The page you tore off the front of her clipboard is right over there. Look, I don't want to make trouble for you. I just want to know what's going on. <sighs> She's being paid to spy on me, that's what's going on. My employer got wind of it and told me, so I went out to her camp to confront her, only she wasn't there which made me even more furious, so then I just... lost it. You just had a big temper tantrum? I've been told I have a slight anger management problem. As for that page you saw, I figured whatever she scribbled on that clipboard was about me. Why did you tear off that page? I figured whatever she scribbled on that clipboard was about me, so I ripped it off and stuffed it in my pocket. But when I got back here and really looked at it, I discovered the only thing on it was a bunch of garbage about moth larvae. That's obviously why she had that security pass, so she could sneak in here. That repugnant little snoop. Wait a minute. How did you know that torn page was in the pocket of my lab coat? I, uh, I have really good eyes. Listen, I gotta get going. Bye. Malachi Craven thinks another biotech company hired you to spy on him. Get out! Me? A spy? Problem is, it would explain that phone number for LifeWorks Biochem you have on your clipboard. Oh, all right. He says that's why he tore up your camp. You did have that security pass. Oh, all right. Yes, I stole a security pass. Yes, I snuck into Healy Healy a couple of times to dig through Craven's files. And yes, a rival company paid me to do all that. But I had to, Nancy. I was desperate for money. You don't know what it's like trying to make a living as a scientist, unless you're rich to begin with, or discover something incredible, or go to work in some windowless assembly line type laboratory. You starve! I'm not saying that all laboratories are bad. In fact, there's this really great one in Montana. It's on this guy's ranch, so you can actually go horseback riding and fishing during your lunch break. Quickly! What? Digressing? Yeah, well, look. I needed to finance my research here, so I agreed to spy on Craven. But now that I've made this discovery, I can tell the people who hired me to take a hike. Besides, Craven's filing system is so blasted unsystematic that I never found anything worthwhile in them anyway.
Is it possible that the work you're doing here could be causing a sudden increase in the population of the fritillated flag beetle? Of course not. Besides, the fritillated flag beetle is an inconsequential species in this area. Not anymore. <sighs> Here's the deal, Dr. Craven. I know that you're working for Aiken's Biotech and that whatever you're working on involves pineapples. I've seen them. You're spying on me too? I also know that something is damaging the local pineapple crop, and that it's almost certainly fritillated flag beetles, because for some reason they're out there multiplying like crazy. What I don't know is, are you responsible? I should have known you were after something. Please leave. As soon as the newspapers hear about this, a lot of other people are going to be asking you the same thing, so you might as well tell me. I'm being paid to create a sunblock in pill form, so I'm developing a strain of pineapple that produces prodigious amounts of ferulic acid, a chemical that has shown great potential in this area. Now leave! I apparently have some double-checking to do. Mm -hmm.